Guess who's back? Back again. Emily's back. Back again. With makeup. With makeup. Because I'm always back with makeup. Pretty much. <laughs> so. <laughs> I got stuff from Gate. As expected. It's like a huge ass bag. Some of the stuff is CVS stuff. Only a few things. Everything else is Gapes, so I'll just go over what I have in Gapes first. They had this really pretty display of like all this new Paris Hilton stuff. Go with butterflies, they're so pretty. And I saw a brush cleanser. There was like the classy like black and gold packaging, but then there was like this packaging, and I was like, I want this packaging because it's pretty. So this is a prime and setting mist, but it's in rose gold. It's the only shade I saw there. I don't know if it's the only one that she makes. I have tea on my face. <laughs> but yeah, I like this concept. It reminds me of like when they did that unicorn stuff, but it was a scam. It looked really pretty in the bottle, but then it didn't do anything. So hoping this actually, like, makes your face a little glowy or something. It says it's an ultra-fine mist application. and delivers an even luminous finish, making this a perfect all-over highlighter for both your face and your body. The more you mist, the more intense you glow. So we'll see about that. It's the Prime and Setting Mist Rose Gold. And this is the one that I picked up. It's really pretty. Of the Daily Brush Cleanser. Because I was like, well, why would I get the one that looks all plain? I mean, it's still pretty, but it's more plain compared to all this going on. So, it's right up my alley. It's like holographic, pretty butterflies, purple packaging. Like, why wouldn't I? The same price, it's still $2.99. Plus, it looks like you get a lot for what you're paying for. Okay. Is it gentle yet strong enough to dissolve residue from most formulas, including powder, cream, gel, and wax based? Both natural synthetic bristles, it leaves your brushes looking like new. So you put this on, and you wipe with a paper towel. Make sure brush is completely dry before using. And then she even had one that was like, one of those like, ones that's like in a pot, kind of, like in a jar. And you put your bristles around it. I almost got that, but I was like, eh, let me just use a brush and cleanser. It's just what I prefer. I'm gonna have some of my tea. My free tea, technically. Because it was like you buy one of these and then the other one's free. So, I'm gonna drink my tea before I continue because I have a good amount of stuff here. I don't know how long this video will be. But it would take ages if I were to open stuff. So, I don't know. And then we got a Jackie and Lauren Cosmetics Holographic Highlighter. And I was like, oh my god. Are they trying to copy, like, milk makeup? Like, what's going on here? It's holographic. So I'm, like, automatically interested. So it's like, meh. Have to get it. So like $3.99. Never heard of this brand before. Apply the holographic highlighter along the highest points of the face, such as the cheekbones, bridge of the nose, and blend well. They don't tell you to use your fingers, they don't tell you to use a brush, they don't tell you anything, so... I guess it's really up to you. You could keep it for 12 months, so this is good for you. And I got one for my sister, because she likes holographic stuff and 90s stuff as well, and she's into makeup. 
and not as deep into it as I am. But I think she would like it, and her birthday's coming up soon, so. Literally a, a few days away. <laughs> so then I got this. It's a luminizing duo drop. Look how pretty that is. Rich Lux will be like freaking the fuck out right now because he loves Paris Hilton makeup. It's luminizing duo drops at a light and radiance to any complexion when applied to the cheekbones, bridge of the nose, and the brow bone. I never thought about putting it on the brow bone. I haven't put anything on my brow bone in a long time. And it's included with a unique dropper applicator. Yep, I'm familiar with that. It seems like a lot of products do that nowadays. Use them alone for a light reflective strobing or bronzing effect even on top of the powder. Or add them to your favorite liquid foundation or skincare product for an all over look. I guess. So basically you can use this anytime. This one's holographic, which is why I really wanted this set because of holographic shit. And then this one is the Rose Quartz. So if they sold the holographic one by itself, I would have gotten it. But if they're selling it in a set, then I might as well just get the set. Because that's more for your money. Then, since we're on a Paris Hilton kick, we got these six-piece full glam sticks. There's a holographic one in Moonlight. Which is why I picked it. Then there's a... Lip and Cheek Duo one. There's a bronze stick. There is a... Something that I can't read because legit all of this writing is on top of it. So I can't really tell you what that one is. There's a... Glitter stick. A... Lipper. I think this is another holographic one. So yeah. Actually, it says it all in the back as well. So, I got a bronzer stick and golden. Got the lip and cheek stick. And desire. Glitter stick in the color lunar. Holographic stick in moonlight. A holographic stick in rose potion. And a holographic stick in rose gold. So... Pretty much three different varieties. Well, six of them, but like three are a little different. So yeah. I thought that would be neat. Then on to other stuff in here. I keep seeing this each time I go. I was like, you know what? If I ever see it again, I'm going to just pick it up. Because it's cheaper than what Physician's Formula would charge you for this. I don't even know if you can get it anymore. But I was like, if I see it again, I'll get it. Because I used to get these. Years and years and years ago. And it's a sexy booster. Oh, so sexy. <laughs> Eyeshadow quad. 12 hour wear. And they have those little, like, sponge type applicators that have, like, the sharp edge. And you can go in and just, like, use your eyeshadow as an eyeliner. And I like these. And I would always just, like, they would shatter on me or something would happen so I don't have them anymore. And I was like, you know what, I might as well just try it again for $4.99, like, get a different palette. So you got, like, a nudie shade, a champagne-y kind of shade that's, like, pinky. And then you got the brown and the black shade, so it's pretty much, like, an any day palette. So I thought, fine. Fine, I keep seeing it. I guess I'm supposed to have it, so you know what? I got it. My lip gloss faded off. And I did just these, so I guess that's why. But yeah, I have nothing on my mouth. Then I did get my stubble brush, a backup of it, because I like it. It's $1.99. That's probably the cheapest you're going to get this brush, unless Elf does like another sale and this is in it. But... $1.99 for a stipple brush that works wonderfully. Might as well go for it. Then, 
I think everything else here is CBS. But the shirt is from Gabe's. I didn't see another one of this, and I think pretty much anyone else that loves unicorns like I do probably already picked it up, and that's why I didn't see any more. But, yeah. I mean, I couldn't turn it down. It is a little big, but I don't have a problem with that because I liked oversized clothes. And it was $7. Compare it 20 it could have been like 20 because Gabe sells like higher end stuff. So this is the brand Electric Pink. Never heard of it. All I know is I like it. Actually, no, I don't like it. I love it because I bought it. <laughs> and it's super soft. Super stretchy, too. So, we'll see. One of these days, I'll be wearing that soon. This one's a Gabe's shirt as well. And the, <coughs> and the jacket is also Gabe's. My purse I'm using is from Gabe's. I have dark jeans from Gabe's. You know, just sponsor me already like damn you don't even know I exist Ugh. and then everything else is CVS here actually no I take that back I did get this eyeliner it's a Revlon color stay that way when I want to do my waterline I have a good eyeliner for that it's a Revlon color stay it's just black they say you can wear it up to 16 hours I got it for $3.99. It's like the cheapest you would ever buy this for, I'm pretty sure. So that's the last Gabe's thing. Now on to the few things that I got from CVS, because it's not a lot. It's going to end in like a second. So, like I said, I was running out of this powder. Super duper bad. It's like barely anything in here. I'll still use it up until it's gone. But I got a backup of my Fit Me in the color Fair. I got the like replacement palette of my Urban Lights palette because because mine is fucked up really really bad. It just kept shattering, and I can't like put it in my purse like I thought I could so I'll still use that as well but that's like the prettier palette basically because Maybelline was doing a thing where you buy one item and you get the other one 50% off so that's why I went and I bought that even though I didn't really have to but I did then Elf had a ex lip exfoliator. I know there's like a minty one I'm pretty sure I kept seeing, but this one's in Sweet Cherry, so I thought I would try it for $3. And then Maybelline had a like $5.99 dollar, $5.99 $5.99 boy eyeliner, and I was like, I wonder if someone else has one for cheaper. And I found a NYX one for $5.19, and it's a white eyeliner, and they say it last a long time and shit like that so I was like why not why the fuck not because I like to have that white waterline and look all dolly and shit so yeah that's all from CBS everything else was goops and yeah they had trouble putting in my uh my coupon. The guy forgot, I'm pretty sure. So when I was at Gabe's, they fixed the price for me. I ended up getting like more money off somehow. My mom was like, you just keep making out like a bandit. I'm like, I don't know how, but I ain't complaining. <laughs> so yeah, I have a shit ton have holographic things for life now. And if I can find my beat up Maybelline palette, I'll show you the damage that it's gone through. It makes me sad. I'm not sure where it went. It might have fallen down somewhere. Falling down the rabbit hole. Yeah. So, 
there. I wanted to set it down somewhere that way it couldn't like fall anymore. But I'm not sure. It might have fallen. I don't see it right here. But it doesn't mean that it hasn't fallen down somewhere. Here it is. See? It even broke some more. See all that? Yeah. I love it to bits and pieces, but now it literally is bits and pieces. It started when I dropped it in the kitchen, and I thought it would be okay because it survived falls before without having any damage to it. But the blush was like... So it contaminated like all the other colors and it's just not even like worth opening because it shatters. And I already pressed it down but it doesn't want to stay pressed down and I could probably like make it work if I want to but it would just be easier to use the other palette at this point. I might have to just like empty out the blush from it entirely. But I'm going to lay it so that it's like gotta break anymore because I thought I did but I guess I didn't so yeah I'm glad I got a replacement because this palette is really nice at our drugstore especially it's just a bummer that it doesn't want to like not break anymore it just wants to break Just put on my lip gloss. Elf apparently is selling like plumping lip glosses, and I mean that doesn't really surprise me because Elf sells like every fucking thing. But they want like eight dollars per one of them, and it's like I almost bought one. But then it's like if you want to charge me eight dollars per lip gloss, then I might as well get like a soap and glory one or like any other brand really. Because even NYX was selling plumping lip glosses for like $6. So I didn't get any. I just like the way they make your mouth feel. It's really weird. Because it's like... It feels like it's buzzing. That's why I like the Seven Glory ones. And this is just the... Same lip gloss I had on earlier. The prismatic one. It's really pretty. It's in the color amethyst. I'm telling you, out of this world, the favorite thing I like to do is to put this on, and it's just like a neon y, like purple in real life. It just looks stellar and amazing. You can see it a little bit on camera, but it's not as good on camera than what it is in real life. But look at that. Yeah, it's pretty. Pretty amazing. Now you see it. A little bit. When the light changes, and it looks darker, you can kind of see the real color of it. But yeah, it's just pretty and I like it a lot. But yeah, my makeup's holding on pretty good. And we'll touch up a little bit while I'm here. Because why not? Why not? I've been back in love with like my Revlon powder and just put a little bit on her in the corner of my nose because that's where it, it like breaks down first even though I put my makeup on around like what like <laughs> two one or two it's only been on a few hours but I guess because I was eating and stuff 
Now is that on about? Creases over. But it's okay. It's something that's like horrible. It just wears down around my nose. But it's awesome. So that was just my little like haul. So if you ever go to Gabe's or you go to like a discount store that's like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Ross, anywhere like that. Look out for Paris Hilton stuff and you can try to find the goodies that I found. Because you never know when you're going to find good stuff from her. Like all her stuff is pretty much good to me. But the skin stuff, that might be really cool. Let's open something. Before we go. Before I go. Let's open up one thing. I wish people could like inter... Like... What's the word? Interact in the comments and tell me which thing to open. But I'm curious mostly for the set. Because there's like all different kinds of things in here. And I'm really curious to see what the holographic thing looks like. Because I'm a holographic junkie. Because I'm born in the 90s. So I'm automatically like, I need holographic everything. Just like give me holographic air and I'll breathe it, I'm sure. Holographic stuff, 90s stuff, unicorn stuff. I'm still not over that trend. I don't think ever will be, really. Ooh, the butterflies fell out. Yeah, that's the one flaw. I mean, I get what they were trying to do, but at the same time, it's like... Butterfly confetti. It's gonna fall out everywhere. They did have an eyeliner kit, too, but I was like, mm, I don't really use gel eyeliner. So that's the only reason why I didn't really pick it up. But the, she had gel eyeliner and she had eyebrow trimmers and stuff. And that's all fine and dandy, but it wasn't really like intriguing to me. So of course I'm going to open up the holographic stick in the shade Moonlight. Because it looks really fucking pretty. You don't even see it, do you? I don't think you do. But it's really pretty. I wish you could see it. I promise you there's color there. I'll use my finger. It's a nice, like, iridescent purpley pigment. Well, not pigment, but like, you know what I mean. It has like a purpley tone to it, and I see it. But on the camera, I don't know if you can. Right there. It's like a purpley blue. That's the holographic. I like it. And then we have the Lip and Cheek Stick and Desire. That's really pretty looking. You see that color, no problem. And it has like a dewy finish to it. So if you don't like that, you probably won't like these. But I'm just telling you what I see here. And now we have a bronzing stick in the color golden. Which I don't know if I can use because I'm pale as fuck. So we'll see about that, but that's that. They're really pigmented, so I give her that. They're definitely like there, there's color to it. They're not getting ripped off in that sense. Or any sense, really, I don't think, because this whole thing was like seven dollars. Seven or eight. Oh shit, my butterflies. <laughs> seven ninety-nine, yeah. So Either way, you're not getting ripped off. Plus, they're really cute for, like, travel. Because they're tiny. As long as, like, your airport or whatever is okay with you having these things. 
I've never been on airplanes. So I don't really know what's allowed and what's not allowed, but you know, I think they're cute for traveling. What next? Got a holographic stick in the shade rose gold. Seems like she really likes rose gold or wants rose gold to be in the sets she has a lot because the setting spray and other stuff is in rose gold. There it is. On the edge here. It's really pretty. It's a little more sheer, but I still see it. And it smells good. Holographic stick in the color rose potion. And let's put that in the inner portion of my hand. Oh my god. It's really pretty. See that? Yeah. Honestly, you could probably even put this like on your mouth as well. It probably doesn't have to be just like a face thing. But, yeah. That's really fucking pretty. And then a glitter stick in the color Lunar. So this one's just packed with glitter, so I'm probably going to love the hell out of it. And let's see what it does. Oh, so this is like a top coat, basically, I would imagine. Unless you just want to use it just like this, because it has like all different colors of glitter in it. It's like different specks of glitter. You got like green and pink and blue and yellow, like all different like glitters, but you can't really see it. There you go. Yeah. That's more sheer. But you definitely do see that it's there. And there's so many different like specks of glitter, so that's really cool. You can like put that on top of your like highlight you already have going on. Put it on your eye probably unless they tell you like not to. It doesn't say anything about not putting it near your eye, so let's check that for a minute. Does it say like Warnings. Keep out of reach of very small I like how it says very small children, not just like keep out of reach of children. Keep out of reach of very small children. Like, sorry, bigger kids. Like, it's okay for you, but for your little, little daughter or little, little brother or whatever you have going on, keep it away from very, very small children. <laughs> If in unlikely case of allergic reaction, please get discontinue use and seek medical advice. Isn't does it seem like weirdly like worded to me in a way to me? Because it's a because it's like unlikely case. It's like they're like pretty damn sure like you're not gonna have a allergic reaction. But yeah, it doesn't say to like not use it on your eyes or whatever. So. Oh, okay. The holographic stick, it says, glide onto cheekbones, eyelids, and lips, and blend with a fingertip. And the glitter stick, face and body, blend with fingertip, build up as desired. But still, they're not telling you they can't put it on your eyes, so someone out there probably will try it, and that someone is probably going to be me, so. But yeah, the keep out of reach for very small children kind of made me laugh a little bit but I really like this set only $7.99 can't really go wrong I've got all the colors some of them are a little harder to see because of the glitter but to me my favorite is the one they can't really even see because it's holographic and purple in case you haven't noticed I love both those things <laughs> So, yeah, that's everything. Just wanted you guys to at least see one item. Maybe I'll do an ASMR video sometime. 
sometime it could be like later or today or a different time, different day, whatever. But I might do an ASMR video of me like opening up each thing. Because I feel like it's more acceptable for ASMR videos to be longer. But if like people do longer videos and if there's someone like me and they're underrated and unknown, it's like, why the fuck are you making a video for so long? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me, but it's like, because I want to. Because it's for me. <laughs> because my boyfriend watches my videos. <laughs> because my friends watch my videos if they ever do, like, actually watch me. But yeah, I'm done. Go get yourself some goodies. <laughs> See you later.